Today I'm about two hours east of Dubai at my friend Nasa's farm. I'm here to ride in his sand buggy. I'll also be testing my new camera, the 1X2 360 camera from Insta360, who is sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea why they call this place a farm. They don't even grow anything here. It's really just a private resort in the middle of the desert. It's a place for Nasa and his friends to hang out after spending a day just mobbing the sand dunes. And it not only has one private residence for Nasa, it also has four guest villas for his friends, a common space with a giant projector, a place to hang out and eat dinner, and a workshop full of very, very talented technicians that specialize in high-end, high-horsepower sand buggies. This place is so incredibly baller. You know when people collect things, they have display cases for the collectibles? Well, when you collect twin turbo 1,000 horsepower sand buggies, these are your display cases. Each one of these units hold two sand buggies. And it's super cool when you roll in the gate at night, you see this lit up with a buggy in each bay. It's just so incredibly baller. Okay, so here's the deal. I was originally gonna interview NASA about the buggy, but he's running late to the farm. They're already gassing this thing up with C16. So it's my job to tell you about the Red Bull sand buggy. This is a Funko buggy. A lot of guys in the comments on my previous video were like, yo dude, those are Funko buggies. They're made in the US. You can see them in California. And this is true. It is a Funko, but what they did was they imported into the UAE and then pretty much changed everything. It's a 454 cubic inch LS base engine built by Redline with Brodex heads. It uses a twin turbo kit that was custom made by F Performance using precision turbos, 68 millimeter. Then it also has a sequential transmission, a MoTeC ECU, and it made 1600 horsepower on a mainland dyno. What makes it super, super special is the fact that the entire body is made out of carbon fiber. This was designed and manufactured here in the UAE. And it is, in my opinion, the best looking sand buggy I have seen in the past month here in Dubai. My initial mounting plans are not going well. I have this extendable carbon fiber pole and I wanted to essentially mount it to the chassis here and extend the camera way out here so you get a really low front angle of the buggy and the sand dunes. But the problem with that is this suspension has so much compression. So once we're pounding through these dunes at like 100 miles per hour, this camera being mounted here would end up smashing into the sand dune. The other angle I really wanted to get was to mount it to the back of the buggy somehow so you could get it shooting massive flames, which you can tell by these burn marks on the carbon fiber. This thing does shoot massive flames because at full boost and full throttle, this buggy lifts those front tires five to six feet in the air. And once again, that would cause the camera, which is mounted here, to be smashed into the sand dune. Still so what we've done is we've taken the carbon fiber extension pole and we've used the what everybody uses zip ties and we've zip tied the pole in the engine bay hopefully that stays <laughs> This is, uh, this is very risky. Many times while we ride, you have the red buttons in there. If you press it, you can talk to me. Nice, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Copy.
Full send, baby. Look at that control arm. Full send. Nice, bro. <laughs> I actually enjoyed shooting with the One X2 camera more than I thought I would. The best thing about it is you mount it, hit record, and it's impossible to miss the shot you want because it records every shot possible from that location. You just choose the angle you want later using the Insta360 smartphone app, Insta360's desktop editing software, or the Adobe Premiere plugin. If you're in the market for a 360 camera, use the link in the video description to grab your One X2, and I'll get a small commission from Insta360. Plus, they'll partner with me on more videos like this in the future to bring you guys more dope motorsports content. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you in another video this coming up weekend. Peace.